Hello, Tab Nation. It's your boy, Tom. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit fun. We're going to get around paywalls. Um, so here I am on the New York Times website. And as you see, I'm trying to read this article. But as I scroll, this thing just automatically popped up asking me to create an account or log in, gain access to limited articles. It's basically trying to get me to pay or gather my information. Yeah. I'm just trying to read the single article. I don't want to go through a whole setup or pay for anything just because I probably will never read another article from your site anytime soon. So here's how we can get around it. And obviously this is for educational purposes only. Anyway, basically, and let me resize this a little bit better um, so we can see. This right here, it's using JavaScript. So it's pretty simple. We're just going to go up to our settings up here, the little three dots. Go to settings down here at the bottom next to my ear. It's going to open a new tab and we're going to do a little jumping around here. So we're going to go to privacy and security. Obviously in the future, uh, this could always change, uh, but for the most part, it should be about the same. We're looking for this one right here under privacy and security site settings. And on here, we're going to scroll down to under content. JavaScript. Sites can use JavaScript. I'm going to click on that. So by default, it should say sites can use it, but there's also this option, don't allow sites. Now, obviously, if I turn this off, it's going to affect all my websites. So just know that. Now, a cool thing is you can leave this tab open on this page if you want to be able to switch back and forth. Um, so for example, I want to read this. I want to know about, you know, switching from iPhone to Android. We're going to click don't allow. Now we're going to go back. Obviously, I need to refresh the page because the JavaScript has already preloaded. And look at that. I can now scroll. Now, obviously, there's going to be some issues sometimes where stuff, yeah, is not going to load certain things. But look, I can now read the full article. I got the image. I can scroll up and down with that the annoying pop-up. And I left this open uh, here. That way, I can just jump back real quick um, and say sites now can use it. Go back, refresh, and there we go. Took a second there. And look, we're back to uh, being behind a account pay slash wall, whatever. Um, yeah, pretty simple, pretty easy to use. Um, let me know if you have any questions about this. Hopefully it helps you. Uh, I feel like knowledge should be free. You know, why should I have to give you all my details to read an article about something that could be important in my life and just help me be a better citizen or for some reason want to know how to switch from iPhone to Android and why it matters to me. Um, but yeah. All right, everybody. Hope you like this video. If you want to see something else like this or you got any other tool, tool tips or Chrome tips that kind of work like this, definitely let me know in the comments below. Maybe we can find some other cool videos to do on uh, something like this. Um, all right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Short video. See you on the next one.